Let's say you had a whole bunch of sheep. 80% of them are black, 20% are white. White being the homozygous recessive trait. Now the Hardy-Weinberg equation gives us p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. It adds up to 1 because we're talking about proportions. This equation does not work unless you have a Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. P squared represents the homozygous dominant trait. 2PQ is the heterozygous trait, and Q squared is the homozygous recessive trait. Going on back to our sheep, we know we have points 2 representing our Q squared homozygous recessive trait being white sheep. So we set Q squared equals to point 2. We then take the square root of that, and we get roughly 0.45. Q is the frequency of our recessive allele. Now to reveal the second equation, P plus Q equals 1. So we have Q, and P is the frequency of our dominant allele. So we just solve for P, and we get about 0.55. Finally, now that we know the proportions of both of our dominant and recessive alleles, we can fill in the equation. P squared comes to about 0.3, representing our homozygous dominant black sheep. 2PQ comes out to 0.5, which is our heterozygous black sheep. And Q squared comes to 0.2, what we know is our number of homozygous recessive white sheep. As long as our population stays in equilibrium, the proportion should, on average, stay the same.